Well, welcome back to Mount Van Hoevenberg, and it is the turn of the female athletes to take on their first biathlon event. This is the 12.5K individual competition. The men competed earlier on today, so the track is well run in. The forerunners are out just getting any loose snow off and we're going to get things underway very shortly so we have four laps so five laps of uh, two and a half k adds up to the 12 and a half k total we have four visits to the shooting range and we're going to uh, alternate between prone and standing and the reason why we do the alternation is that uh, because you have various different laps going on all at the same time because it's a time trial everyone's setting off at 30 second intervals half the field of the half of the range uh, is set up for the standing and the other half set up for prone so the first time they come in will be a prone shoot and then the second time will be standing. Of course, the prone target is much smaller. It's about the size of a golf ball, whereas the standing target more like the size of a CD. So five laps of two and a half kilometers. Just cuts off uh, at the top of the at the top of the track. Uh, there's a loop that the men went on that for their three kilometer uh, loop and the women are uh, just cutting that off a little bit so here's the start list watch out for the uh, Kazakhstan athletes Marina Krukova Marina Skripkina as well couple of British uh, biathletes as well watch out for the Americans they're here in force and uh, Ari Woods going at number 40 43 in the field so it's hovered around about minus seven for most of the day it's slightly overcast they've turned the lights on uh, just to give a little bit more uh, contrast on some of the descents. You can see the Fisher skis there with the holes in the tips. The classic Loch Shi that they talked about. It's been around since the 1970s. It's a little bit of a, uh, a gimmick from, uh, from that particular company. Doesn't really do much. So number one, Polina Yegorova from Kazakhstan will get things underway. So last couple of big breaths for Polina Yegorova. And this women's 12K, 12.5K competition is underway. Kazakhstan will set the early pace. And they say pink is punk, and there she is wearing that pink rifle on her back, a 22 caliber rifle that she'll be using. For Australia, it's Isabella Moon. And Isabella out and on the course. And she's a 
It's a tough course here. There's a lot of really steep uphill. And from Canada, Anna Perry from the University of Calgary. How hard is she going to go out of the start? Yeah, just wearing a knee brace on her right knee there, Anna Perry. Sasaki Misa from uh, Waseda University in Japan. It's a little bit more of a sprightly start, going hard out of the gate. Using that initial burst of energy before she settles in. And uh, settles in to a, a more threshold, sustainable pace. Anna Blanc from uh, Senet in Lyon. The French took a medal. Axel Garnier got the bronze in the men's competition. Can Anna Blanc do something for France? A uh, regular stop on the Tour of France in a major city in South Central France. And from the Czech Republic, Six from Joseph Charles Republic. University Christina in Prague, Kostar. it's Christina Okotsova. <laughs> Now watch out for Otkovska, it's going well. Vilda Borseth from Norway. Wearing bib seven. Good start for her. And Anya Fischer from Switzerland. And the Swiss biathlete off and running. So second of the Canadians, Sheila Rousseau from the University of Ottawa. Charlo Russo. So number 10, watch out for Arena Krikukova. The second of the Kazakhstanis. She's 20 years old. She's actually the youngster on the team that won the gold Vadim Kurales for Kazakhstan. Victoria Chelskinka. And the pole off and running. I had the chance to meet Jesse when she was about 16 years old at the World Junior Championships, and uh, wow, I knew greatness was in her car. Just from her personality, I told her that she reminded me of a little squirrel. So we look out onto the track. We're looking at uh, Vilda Borseth of Norway. It's a steep climb. It looks like she's going to lose those numbers on her legs. They're already half... Uh, coming off 
I don't think they're going to last the full 12 and a half K, especially when she comes into the range and lies down and starts to shoot. So just looking at the first intermediate time, uh, Polina Yegorova um, is leading at uh, 2.1 kilometers into the course. As it go through this switch back and then start the uh, the descent down in towards the range. Taking a little bit easy down on the descent there and uh, the uh, Kazakh athlete just using that opportunity to, to get some uh, energy back into the legs as she comes back into the uh, stadium area and heads towards the range for the first time. Polina Yegorova. Well, she's leading. She was leading that first split at 1.4 kilometers. So skied well for the uh, first lap. Now, how will she shoot? Clean so far. The pink rifle is doing the business. And a great start for Polina. Yegorova of Kazakhstan. Well, she skied quickly on that first leg and she shot perfectly. And she will set the early pace. It's a big lead so far from Yegorova. Number 10 there is uh, the other Kazakhstani, Arena uh, Kriyukova. Kriyukova is, well, at the first split, she was 19 seconds down on her teammate. Anna Blanc coming in. A minute down already as she comes into the range for the first shoot. quite see but uh, as uh, Anna Blanc takes her shots the internal bit of the target is what she's aiming at it's the size of a golf ball so although she's prone uh, and in a better shooting position they're shooting at a much smaller target and a miss there for Uh, Anna Blanc. Mm. 
But Anna Blanc missing one. Sasaki has missed two. Anna Perry has gone clear as we watch uh, Alina uh, Skripkina, one of the favourites. And the Kazakhstan is out and meaning business. Look at the speed of uh, Skripkina out of this initial start hill. Really going for it out of the gate. As we watch the Canadian Chilo Russo. One missed. Well, Russo shot quickly, but missed one. Just looking at uh, Polina Yegorova. I can tell you that uh, the Swiss athlete, Anya Fischer, is uh, giving her a run for her money. She is uh, taking the fastest lap time for lap one. Shot clean, did Fisher. And Fisher in the lead for now. Victoria Selczynska from Poland. One missed. Two missed. So two missed for Solchinska, and a penalty time will be added to her time. Yeah, really costly if you're missing more than one. As Victoria Solchinska goes back out for her second lap. So going hard out of the gate there is uh, Teresa Yandova of uh, the Czech Republic. Sheila Russo. Lying provisionally in third at uh, the first on the first lap. Anya Fisher. Very efficient technique there. Saving her energy, yet producing good speed up the hill. Power to weight ratio good for Anya Fisher. <laughs> Cheers for Shiloh Russo of Canada. It's such a brutally steep course.
Good work, though, for Manja Fischer. It's her and Polina Yegorova that are setting the early pace here. You got over through the uh, 4.6 kilometer mark and uh, it's come through in 15 minutes. She'll be heading down for her second shoot. Is the sun starting to break through on uh, the, the top of the course there? Not really making an impression down here at the, at the bottom on the start finish line. And there is the number one, Polina Yegorova. A shot clean on the first uh, attempt and shooting or missed on the third. So one miss from the Kazakh biathlete and she's back out on the track. A penalty will be added to her time. As we watch another of the Kazakh athletes start, Nazdia uh, Pivo Varova. So 43 athletes in the competition. You can see 4.6 kilometer mark, and Polina Yegorova has set the early pace. Charlotte Rousseau. Doing good work there, the Canadian. That's Anya Fisher. And Shola Russo taking the lead at the 4.6 kilometer mark. Anya Fisher coming through in third, 21 seconds back. And yet another of the Kazakh athletes. It's Zenia Dolgopolova. Kazakh's going really hard out of the start. So coming in for the second shoot. It's uh, Sheila Russo from Canada. If she can shoot this clean, she will put herself really in contention. Great work from the Canadian. Clean. And back out on the track. So Russo missed one in the uh, pro and uh, goes clean in the second. This is Anya Fisher clean in the first shoot. Starts with a miss. That's when you start to get a little bit nervous. Another miss, and you can see that the wind is just blowing around ever so slightly. So two targets missed. 
So minute and a half added to the time. So there is Anya Fisher. Team the Canadians as himself, Pauline Machut, waving her hand, really trying to get some blood down into the fingertips from France. Pauline Machut now shooting in the prone position for France. So on their first shoot. That is the Czech Teresa uh, Yandova. And uh, Yandova skied well and uh, is has taken the fastest lap for lap one. So looking very good, the Czech uh, Teresa Yandova. Got to keep her eye on that one. Number 29. So Yandova has set the fastest first lap time over Anya Fischer. There's still some more skiers to come through. Yandova started with bib 29. We've got 43 in the competition. So we watch the poll, Anya Nezda uh, Kubinski. Into the second shoot. You see the time ticking down. Sheila Russo in the lead at this stage. Spending a long time on the shoot, but it's worth it if you can shoot clean. And Nezda Kubinec back out on the track. Australian on the descent there. That was Isabella Moon. So we have all of the athletes are out on the track now. All 43, all on various different laps. This is when it gets really quite uh, uh, complicated for uh, for uh, us to follow. I'll try and keep you updated on uh, the various different splits of where we are in the competition. We're looking at uh, uh, Teresa Yandova at 3.9K in. So at 4.6K, it's uh, the Canadian Russo that has the lead.
Russo from Yegorova. Anya Perry from Canada is two minutes back. And we watch uh, Polina Yegorova into her third shoot. And Yegorova, clean. Good shooting. It's a good work from uh, the uh, skier with bib number one there, Polina Yagorova. She is on to her penultimate lap now. And we can see there number 40, Ariana Woods. Ari, she's known. Coming in to the first shoot for her. And she's joined by uh, uh, Christina um, Otkovska uh, of the Czech Republic. And you can see there uh, Sani Oikonen of Finland just waving and windmilling the arms just to get the feeling in the, uh, in the fingers before she takes off the rifle and gets into the prone position and then starts her shoot. Sani Oikonen from Finland shooting for the first time. One missed, or two missed. Two missed for uh, the finish. Skier just uh, skids out on the, uh, on the rubber mat there. So just having a look at uh, the intermediate times. Uh, Teresa Yandova looking very good. There is Sani Oikonen. Uh, Sheila Russo. Going into uh, shoot three. Oh. They're coming out of the shoot uh, and looking in a very good position, the Canadian. Yeah, Russo clean in the uh, the second of the prone shoots. So uh, I was only dropped one, and that was in the first of the uh, prone. So good work from the Canadian. Uh, Yandava is in the range now, number 29. And has missed two. So two missed for Yandova. Yeah, look at disappointment as she leaves the range and she's in a great position. And now has a little bit of work to do.
So we're looking at the potential standings. Russo looking good. Also look out for uh, the pole. Anna Nedza. Christina uh, Titiyevskaya. <laughs> One miss. <laughs> Using that technique of jamming the elbow into the hip. Well, this is the pole, Anya Nezda Kupins Czech. breath between each shot just kind of calm things down one missed at the beginning so saved that one quite nicely so two missed in total So we're still looking at the Canadian and the uh, Kazakh Yegorova. Great to see two Canadians in the top ten right now. Shiloh Rousseau and a pair holding strong, representing the Holy team. Polina Yegorova setting the early pace from number one, going hard. And at the 8.9-kilometre split, uh, Russo has taken the lead over Yegorova by uh, 1 minute 48. So Russo still skiing very well. As we watch uh, Polina Yegorova come down the descent. and head in towards the range. So number one. Ooh, a little trip there. Taking some breaths, calming herself down. And uh, it's the second of uh, her standing shoot, so the fourth shoot, fourth and final shoot for Polina Yegorova of Kazakhstan. It's a beautiful looking rifle, but she has uh, got the Lake Placid decals on as well. She missed the first one, she's shooting quickly. And one dropped, similar to her first uh, attempt at, st at standing shoot. So we're waiting and seeing what will happen when uh, the Canadian uh, Sheila Russo comes in for her fourth and final shoot.
Well, now all that uh, Paulina Yagorova can do now is ski as hard and as fast as she possibly can for this final lap. Cross the line and set the early pace. And I hope that uh, some of her opponents uh, do not shoot uh, particularly cleanly. So this is uh, Charlo Russo. Russo dropped one in the first, been clean since. This is her fourth and final shoot. Now, if Russo can go clean here, see that she's got a three-minute lead over uh, Polina Yegorova, who's currently in uh, the first position at this point. Russo takes the first shot, gets the hit. This is the second, gets the third, and the fourth and finishes off with uh, four out of five. So, Russo, well, she's only dropped two. And is skiing very fast. So, Russo has put herself in a great position to come in and take the lead. So, Russo. Well, Charlo Russo definitely has the ski pace over Pelina Yegorova. As we see Anna Nedza Kubin check. Good work there from the Czech. That was Teresa Yandova. That was her third shoot. And Yandova looking very good. She is ahead of Russo on the intermediate time. Out of the stadium at Viv 29 is your silver medalist position, 50.9 seconds back of the Canadian. I think the Canadian has pretty much the three race so far. Nobody really challenging in the field. Viv 25, however, didn't get in there. So Teresa Yandava challenging the Canadian Shiloh Russo, who has the lead. This is the pole, Anna Nedza. Stepping around the corner and heading towards the range. Now Nedza dropped one in the first prone. Shot clean standing. Dropped another one in the second uh, of her prone shoots. Now is on to her fourth shoot. You can 
see that uh, the time has already ticked by the leader of uh, uh, the leader time of Charlotte Russo. Polina Yegorova, one minute 47 back. And a miss there for the pole. Waiting a long time for this final shot. And too long, misses. And you can see the clock jump up, the deficit jump immediately. Just thought a little and waited a little too long on that one. And that is going to drop her chances of a, of a medal right down. Four misses for the pole. Still looking good for the Canadian, though. So Paulina uh, Yegorova. Look at that, two minutes ahead now. She's built on her lead on this climb. She is reeling in Polina Yegorova. And Polina Yegorova can't be far away from the finish now. She must be on that final descent. In fact, I think I've just seen them come past the commentary box. They might be coming into the final straight. We'll look out for Yegorova as she crosses the line. Well, the Canadian coach is shouting himself hoarse. And here we go. This is uh, Polina Yegorova. Started with bib number one and has thrown down the gauntlet for those to follow. Finishes with a time of 45.03.4. 45 minutes. Three minutes. And uh, still has the energy to wave to the fans and wave to the crowd. Now, the last split, uh, Russo was ahead. Russo a good two minutes ahead at the final split. So Russo is on course to take the lead away from Polina uh, Yegorova. And could this be the winning ski from the Canadian? Who else can challenge? Potentially the Czech, Yandova. She would need to shoot clean on the final shoot. Rousseau is not far away from the finish. Here she comes. Shiloh Russo from Canada onto the finish straight. And Can and Canada could well take a gold medal here. This is a fantastic ski from Shiloh Russo. Look at the lead that she has over Polina Yegorova. Shiloh Russo, Russo powering across the line and throws down the gauntlet for those to follow. That was a great ski and great shoot as well from Russo. Russo only dropped two. And Russo into top spot for now. For 20 and great, great speed prowess on the course.
So the question is, who can challenge the Canadian Shiloh Russo? As we watch uh, Anna Block finish. We go back out onto the track. And we're picking up uh, the pole. Barbara Skurobinskua. And good shooting. That was shooting four. That's going to put up right in contention. Certainly in contention for a medal. Will she be able to challenge the Canadian? I'm not sure. On target for a medal, though. Teresa Yandova misses one. And one miss there for Teresa Yandova. That could have been her chance gone of uh, challenging Russo for the gold medal. She's missed three. Anya Fisher crossing the line in sixth place. So, Dengarud of Norway. Coming into her fourth shoot. A couple of minutes back on the leader, Shalo Russo. And good shooting from the Norwegian. So crossing the line uh, is the Ukrainian. And Vilda Borseth of Norway. Good performance from her into the seventh position. Watching uh, Anna Nedza crossing the line. It was that. Uh, the uh, points dropped on the, the final shoot. The final, yeah, four points in total, four misses. Isabella Moon. So we're watching number 25 now. She has a chance of getting up onto the podium. Shot clean on the last shoot. Only dropped one so far. 
Skrobczewska. What can Barbara Jobskiewska do? So coming out of the final shoot, she was 30 seconds back on Russo, lying in silver medal position. The end of her came out in uh, bronze medal position just 49 seconds back so we've got to, those are the two we want to watch number 25 and 29 Skiing fast there, number 19, Lenka uh, Bartova from the Czech Republic. Just trying to find her on the uh, leaderboard. I don't think she's shot particularly well because she's not up there time wise. The Slovakian there crossing the line and absolutely uh, in the red. Chloe Dupont, number 17 there from Great Britain. Skis in France, uh, Chloe Dupont. Now, Teresa Yandova. Looks to be absolutely exhausted. Might have blown a gasket there, I think. The, uh, the Czech skier. Seemed to have completely run out of steam as she came to the top of that hill for the final time. Linka Bartova crossing the line in 12th place. So Shrobchevska, uh, Barbara Shrobchevska, is still on course to take the silver medal. It looks to me like Russo is safe in the gold. Everyone who is in touch has been through the range. And there she is. Barbara Skrobczewska. And this is going to be the silver medal for the pole. And 48 seconds back on Shaila Russo, but Barbara Szopczeska of Poland will take the silver medal. Not sure if there's anyone left on the course that can challenge that. Teresa Yandova. Well, she's on course for bronze. Sarah Bilio crossing the line just ahead of her, but look at Yandova. Yes, it's going to be bronze for Teresa Yandova of the Czech Republic. And I think that's our medals decided. We're looking at the Canadian taking gold, Shiloh Russo. Barbara Skrobczewska in the 
silver medal position. And in bronze, there she is, Teresa Yandova. Gave absolutely everything. Missed three of her shots. Russo missed two. And Scrob Chevska missed just the one. So watching uh, Alina Skripkina from Kazakhstan across the line. Everyone now on to their uh, fourth and well, no, they're not all on to their fourth and final lap. We have a few that haven't finished their shoots yet. Just looking through to see if there's anyone else that can challenge for a medal. Danica Burke from Canada there. And we see number 22, uh, Stella uh, Savalova. from Slovakia. And the Norwegian crossing the line in eighth place there. Dengarud. Pauline Machut of France. She's doing well. Lying in fifth place at the final split. See her in the blue behind there, number 20. Is that her number 28? Yes, number, yeah, number 28. Pauline Machut will cross the line in seventh in the end. So lost some time on the descent and lost a couple of places. Good ski from the French athlete. Head in the snow. So one of the uh, Picos sisters, Zoe Picos from Canada, crossing the line in 26th position. Uh, and uh, finishing uh, for Great Britain, Cara Lotes. She's up in, uh, I think, University of Bolton. There's our winner. Jolly Russo taking the gold. It's <laughs> awkward, I don't know what to do.
A uh, great win for Shiloh Russo. There's the American Woods. Ariana Woods, or Ari as she's known. Born in Boulder, Colorado, but lives in Bozeman, Montana. Goes to the Montana State University. It's the least populated state um, after Alaska is Montana. Some big mountains out there. Shiloh Rousseau, your unofficial winner today in the women's individual for Canada. Congratulations, great competition, great racing, great skiing. Good stuff from Shiloh Rousseau. So Russo in the gold medal position, Barbara uh, Skrubczewska of Poland in the silver, and uh, in bronze it is Teresa Yandova. Lilia Steblina of Ukraine. Now the Ukrainian athletes very well received over here in Lake Placid. This is the uh, Kazakh skier. As we see uh, Stella uh, Savlova from Slovakia crossing the line. Sani Oikonen from Finland going hard towards the finish. Looking for a top 10. 19th place for her. Kara Picos from Canada. And Kara Picos crosses the line in 34th place. Isabel Kaza of Canada. Not quite the ski speed of her teammate. Shiloh Russo. Claudia Topo of Poland. And Topo across the line in 16th place. She only missed once. Topo. Dulcie Tangi from the USA. Mm -hmm. 
So Dossi Tangi crossing the line in 32nd position. Harry Woods. Woods crossing the line in 29th place out of the Montana State University. Isabel Kaza of Canada. making her way to the top of the hill for the final time. This is our last skier on the course. Started with number 41. 41 out of 43. And we do have Xenia uh, Dolgopolova. So Xenia Dolgopolova from Kazakhstan will be our penultimate skier to cross the line. We still have one more Canadian to come. The Canadian on top of the leaderboard. Now it's all ready. And we're just waiting for the final skier. Isabel Kaza of Canada. Up, 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 all the way over the top, let's go. Up, up, up. That was the final climb for uh, Kaza, as you can see. It's really like, this is like my first big um, podium, so it kind of feels a little fake right now. And I know, it just really has for everything to come together and for it to happen on this. We're already starting to do uh, interviews in the finish. The, the winner from Canada, Shiloh Russo, as the final athlete on track is her teammate, Isabel Kaza. And she will be cheered across the line. Isabel Kaza. Final skier out on the course in this women's 12 and a half K competition. And Kaza across the line in 38th place. Just ahead of her teammate, Picos. <laughs> so no doubt now who the winner is gonna be. And it's gonna be the Canadian, Charlotte Russo. And there is the provisional results. Shyla Russo in the gold medal slot with Barbara uh, Skrobczewska of Poland in silver. And from the Czech Republic, Teresa Yandova in bronze. What a big gap there between bronze and uh, the fourth place. Uh, Polina Yegorova of Kazakhstan.
And your Fisher set some early pace as well at the beginning of the competition. As we go down the rest of the leaderboard, and you can see um, the score there on the uh, left-hand side of the, uh, sorry, the right-hand side is the number of targets missed. And you can see some of the um, biathletes missing up to 10. And that's a lot of time penalty to put onto your time. So let's have a look at the way the Weddells were decided. This was the uh, bronze medal ski from Teresa Yandava. Yandava, well, she shot clear in the first prone. She missed two in the uh, first standing shoot. Clear again in the second prone. And then missed one in the final standing. So Yandava will have a look at that and think maybe work on the standing. Clean. Yandova crossing the line, and she knew that she was in the bronze medal position when she did cross that finish line. The silver medal athlete, Barbara Skropczewska of Poland. Well, Skropczewska Superb on the range, only dropped one. Uh, but we are going to uh, come back to the highlights after we have the mascot ceremony because I think we are ready for the mascot ceremony right now. On behalf of Mount Van Hovenberg. In third place, representing the Czech Republic. Teresa Yandova. Teresa Yandova taking the bronze medal. In second place, representing Poland, Barbara Skrobaszewska. Barbara Skrobaszewska. in the silver medal position. And in first place, from the women's 12.5 kilometer short individual champion representing Canada, Shiloh Rousseau. Shiloh Rousseau taking the gold. An emotional moment for the Canadian. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lake Placid 2023 FISU World University Games winners. So congratulations to our winners and congratulations to Canada taking their first gold medal of these games. So confirmation of the medal, Shiloh Russo in gold, Barbara Skrovshevska in silver, and Teresa Yandova 
in bronze. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that uh, women's 12.5K competition. We've got more uh, biathlon coming up as we go into the championships. Uh, tomorrow it's back to cross country. Uh, and then in two days' time, we have the the biathlon uh, mixed relay competition. That's going to be interesting. That will be exciting. And uh, it's going to be all guns blazing with uh, the biathlon in uh, Mount Van Hoevenberg. So, yeah, join us again uh, for some more exciting cross country and biathlon. See you then. I'm here with Shia Russo. Oh, I'm getting pretty cold now. <laughs> I'm here yeah, with my lips are gonna start turning purple if they're not already. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Shia Russo, our gold medalist in today's biathlon individual race at Mount Van Hovenberg. So, Shia, congratulations on this great success. Thank you. How does it feel being FISU World University Games champion? Um, it feels really great, and I heard I'm the first gold medalist for Canada, so I am. I'm very proud of that. And what was your strategy going into race today? Like, when did you know you had a shot at winning today? Um, well, today's the individual, so a lot of it has to do with the shooting performance. And after the first two bouts, I felt really solid on the range, nice and calm, and able to really hit those targets today. Um, today was one of my best shooting performances, so I say after the first two bouts, I, pro I felt pretty confident in my shooting and that I could make it happen. And how were the wind conditions today at the shooting range? Um, the wind was a little gusty, a little back and forth. Um, for me, it... I didn't find it affected me too much. I felt um, really solid on the shoot, on the standing shooting. Didn't feel the wind too much. And after my first prone, I ended up missing one and had a correction and was able to nail down the next five prone that I had. So really good. And what are your goals for the next competitions coming up here at World University Games? Uh, my goals is just kind of after today, just carry it forward and. Kind of keep building on today, maybe a clean shoot in, in the future and really ramp into the, the ski speed. Today felt, felt, the skiing felt all right, but I never felt like I really had that solid, um, that top sprint speed. So I'm looking to bring that forward into the sprint race. Awesome. Thank you again and congratulations. Thank you.